Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, let's go ahead and keep going. And first, I wanted to show you guys what we call it the insights. And also we'll learn how to take the best model, which is the rule fit classifier model and essentially use it for deployment and to make predictions as well. So if you guys go ahead and check out the insights tab, you should be able to see all the key insights here. For example, if you click on the tree base variable, this is actually gold. This is gold information right there. So these are the importance of features, okay, from the most important feature going down. And this is extremely important for any company to understand. So for example, the model decided, which is my random forest classifier model here, has decided that the total day charge was one of the key insights into predicting whether the, whether the customer will stay or will leave. Extremely important data. Maybe if you wanted to keep more customers, maybe you can reduce the charge somehow, or maybe launch a targeted marketing ad campaign to specific customers to retain them. Again, retaining customers is way cheaper compared to going out there and trying to acquire new customers. It's gonna be a lot more expensive. Here we have the next one, which is the total day minutes. Here we have the number of customer service calls, the international plan, the total international calls. All of these features are very important and um, they are essential to generate or make predictions. Okay, the next point that I wanted to show you guys is, well, if you go back to models, you should be able to see that model here, okay, which is, has been recommended for deployment. And all what you need to do is to simply go ahead and actually deploy that model. So if you guys go here, you should be able to see deploy auto model. So if you just click on it, you guys will see that the model right now is being deployed. Okay. And if you click on auto model right now, so now the model has been deployed. The next step is to go ahead and create an application that leverage that endpoint. So if you guys go to application gallery, and if you say launch predictor, you can go ahead and say, I wanted to grab a model from deployment. And here I have the recommended model for class on tele, um, telecom churn. And you just say launch. And basically what I'm doing right now is I'm launching an application. And that application is leveraging the endpoint, which is my train model that I have just trained in during the training phase. And now the predictor is being created and the application is being created for us. And once the model is deployed, you should be able to see here, it's telling me application deployed. So if you click on open, that will simply is going to open for you here, um, the application, and you can go ahead and essentially create records. So basically make inference on that model. If you click on new record, here we go. You guys will see that I can go ahead and basically fill in values here, right? And then say, get predictions. Basically, that means if I have newer customers and these newer customers, I'm consuming features about them. For example, if I can get how many total day minutes these customers consume, how many total international calls they consume, total night minutes, all of that information. If I can consume all that data and feed it into the model, I will be able to predict whether that customer will stay or will leave, which is again, incredibly powerful. Okay. That's again, golden information right there. We developed and built it in, in like 30 minutes or so, which is incre incredible. So you can go ahead and say maybe like test one, for example, that will be the name for the record name. And you can give it a description here if you want. You can go ahead and fill in here different values or maybe say use average values, for example. All what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you guys kind of like how to do the model training, hyperparameter tuning and deployment in just one shot, okay? But of course, behind the scenes, there are so many things to learn and so many things to take place as well, which is beyond, I would say, the 30 minutes uh, bonus uh, case study that we have in here. Okay, so here I fill in all that data and if you say get predictions, here we go. The model right now is telling you that, well, this customer, has a low chance, okay? So basically the prediction will gonna be zero, belongs to the zero class. And these are the reasons as well, which is pretty incredible. It's telling you that the total night minutes is one of the uh, major features that allow the model to make that predictions, to say that that customer will belongs to the zero class, okay? 
Here I had the total evening charge as well, has been set to 17. I have the international plan is set to zero and voicemail is set to zero as well, okay? So basically these are the different prediction explanations and these, uh, this is a, there's a huge, I would say, a research area when it comes to AI ML models explainability, which is, yes, the model made predictions, but why? And that's the why piece of it as well. It's telling you that the total night minutes were 200 and the total average charge was 17. And these are the main key important contributing factors to the model to make this specific predictions. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's simply all I have for this uh, case study. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's recap what we have done so far. In this project, we have been able to essentially upload our data set and train 20 models and pick the best model and we'll be able to deploy it and create an application as well which is this, this application here for us to make predictions okay uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this case study and see you in future case studies